You're watching the Coach Penny Hardaway Show. Welcome back. Yeah, we're going to get to basketball, but there is one more honor we forgot, and that just happened. Sp uh, not just Sports Person of the Year, but one of the people of the year, you with Dr. Rudd. And when I saw that story about all the great things that are going on now at your alma mater, it's heartwarming. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, God's keep, God keeps on blessing me. Um, you know, I just I did this from the heart. I want to get back to the city, get back to the team, get back to our university. And, uh, you know, Dr. Rudd, you know, what a beautiful man. He, uh, he definitely wants to do the same thing for our city and for our university. And to be mentioned in the same breath as him, and I know he'll laugh about that, but it's an honor. And uh, like I said, I love my city, and I just want it to be successful. So you, uh, your first uh, third of a year, let's say, is in. We go non-conference, then conference, then postseason. We hope there is that. You are 8-5 and five as we get set for this game with Florida a and &M. Where do you think your team is at? Well, I think that we're pushing forward. Uh, we had some hiccups early on. Uh, we let some opportunities pass us by. But uh, moving forward, I like the direction that we're headed in. Uh, we're starting to get things now. The guys are more focused. And uh, we're definitely geared up and ready for conference. You made a little change in your starting lineup here. Kareem Bruton gets his first start. Apparently a little disciplinary thing for Antoine Jones. Yeah, well, you know, I wear a lot of hats. It's not just being a head coach, but you have to be a counselor. You have to be a friend. But most of all, you have to be a disciplinarian. And, uh, you know, the kids, when they do things that they're not supposed to do, there is a uh, punishment behind that, and Antoine Jones, he missed uh, the first part of practice, so we have to bring him off the bench. And Bruton fills in nicely. You just saw him score one there, but he was a nice facilitator in this game. First half, so was Jeremiah Martin. I think you had to tell him to shoot the ball in the second half. He goes crazy there. Yeah, Jeremiah, he came out and, and played more of a floor game. He didn't try to score. He was trying to get everyone else involved, and he was very active on the defensive end. And, uh, you know, I was really proud of him. And then came out in the second half, and, man, he just got rewarded. Uh, the players started looking for him, and his shot started to fall. And, man, he did a great job for that entire game. Isaiah Maurice had a good game. He had 12.7 rebounds. Rainier Thornton has been very consistent for you on both sides of the floor. This was a pesky team early. That kid, Justin Ravenel, is a very good shooter. And they hung for a while. Yeah, we let them get into a rhythm, you know, and that's what, another thing that we talk about all the time. We knew exactly where they wanted to go and who they wanted to get the ball to. And then, of course, they made shots, but we didn't speed them up fast enough early on, and they, got, they kind of got into their comfort zone, and uh, it took us a while to get them out of their comfort zone. And you sure did, uh, and you'll see that to start the uh, second half. Uh, I see a new do for Keevan Davenport. That wasn't by uh, anything you said. You're not his... Uh, oh, no. Fashion guy, are you? <laughs> no, he, he actually was telling everyone that uh, after Christmas and uh, during the break that he was going to cut his hair, and uh, he did that and shocked everybody because no one really believed him, and, uh, you know, hey, he's looking good. There's Lomax saying he looks good. Right there, the little gift and the great the dish and uh, the dunk here, and you had a lot of assists in this game. I think you had 12 assists on your first 13 buckets. You end up with 22 on 33. Yeah, we want to keep sharing the ball. You know, our biggest number, or our number that we want every game is 30. If we get to 30, we're going to be hard to beat. 30 assists, for sure. You get 30 assists, you'll probably get to 90. You have 90 points again in this game, which is the fifth straight game. That hasn't been done since the mid-70s when your coach had just left. Yeah, well, we want to push the ball, and uh, we figure we have the scoring that we need. We have a lot of guys on our team that can put the ball in the basket. That's why we're focusing so much on the defensive end, but it's a, it's a pleasure and a luxury to have guys that can put the ball in the basket, for sure. There is uh, another unselfish play by Jeremiah. So he has no field goals at half. What did you say to him at the break? No, I just let him be because I felt like he was playing the game that he wanted to play. Sometimes he comes out and wants to score, and sometimes he wants to facilitate, and this game was one of those games. So every game is different. So when, that, when he's doing that, I'm going to support him because he was so active and unselfish in the first half. So I was proud of that. You guys did a great job of getting out on fast breaks. 34 points from fast breaks, and you can score so many different ways. And there's the young guy that I think learned his lesson. He won't, he won't be late anymore. No, I don't think he'll be late again. Uh, he was definitely uh, hurt behind that, but he understood uh, what, the, what the punishment was going to be. And uh, like I said, I love the unselfish play. He's one of the biggest parts of why we're so unselfish. His pass is, it gets contagious with the rest of the teammates. And Martin ends up with 19 points in the second half. He did it he did three or four threes in a row. He really started the feel. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, I've been talking to him about letting the game come to him and being more efficient. And he did that yesterday. And I was thankful that, uh, that he got, you know, had the game that he had in the second half making shots because he's being so unselfish. 
One of the things that you said before this game to me was turnovers. You really wanted to limit them and force them. Well, you you end up forcing 23 turnovers. That's about five over your average. That I know made you happy. And you didn't turn it over quite as much. Yeah, well, both of those uh, categories are big for us, especially going into league play. We want to turn people over, like you said, you know, 20 to 25 times a night. And we want to keep our turnovers around 10 to 12. We really want to protect the ball, and for us to get up into the 90s, we have to continue to steal the ball. So this team struggles to score a little bit, and they struggled against you only 65 points. I know that's the other thing that you wanted to be sure part of your identity was defense. Where would you say you are in that department? Well, we're getting better. Uh, our ranking was 335. It's going down from the game, the last two games that we played. We want to give guys teams target numbers. Uh, we didn't reach it yesterday, but we want to keep giving those numbers to try to keep teams under. We want to move up and the rankings on the defensive side. Uh, there, there's a guy that you moved up, a good friend of yours, Dwight Boyd. We will go up close and personal with Dwight in just a minute.